Hello, this is uh, Abdel Mati Asiri, and this is a quick upload to address the concern that was uh, raised by uh, Gilles in one of the in, uh, in his comment regarding being about too high for the ILS on the approach. So I'm gonna play the rest of the uh, of the recording for the approach, and you'll see the vertical speed act actually being decreased uh, to maintain the uh, glide slope. So we are already on the turn now. And uh, we are almost uh, one dot above the glide slope as indicated by the ILS now. The way to check your height with respect to the glide slope is to uh, do the mental math for the DME from the runway. We are almost six, six miles or slightly more than six miles, so let's say seven miles. So seven times three is 2,100 feet. And you are at 2,200, 2,300. So we are within 300 feet from the proper height from the glide slope. Now, one thing here you can see is we are doing a 1,200 feet per minute descent, but the airplane is actually going to 1,550. And this will happen also in the real airplane as well. I'm guessing because the uh, the autopilot and auto throttle are not able to cope up with the loss of, of lift as the airplane turns at 25 degrees and we are already fully configured and you'll see the same thing in the real airplane as well if you do 90 degrees turn fully configured with a vertical speed of anything it will be the actual will, will increase for some time until the airplane start to roll out so for this reason even having a, a vertical speed slightly above the glide slope as you start the turn by the time you complete the turn you'll be slightly below the glide slope and every time I do this approach this way, I need to uh, reduce my vertical speed here to make sure that I stay within the glide slope. As you can see now, we are slightly below the glide slope and I'm re reducing to 500 just because I want to continue the descent, but I'm doing it in a way that I'm ensuring that the rate is less than the, uh, the glide path with the, with the glide slope, which is 800 to 850 feet per minute. So I'm... Um, doing a smooth correction and letting the glide slope come back again and then I'll increase the vertical speed or arm the approach. In the airplane, I'll arm the approach earlier but here in BMDG for two reasons, just to demonstrate how can I control the glide slope with the vertical speed and the second thing is in BMDG if you arm the approach it will capture the glide slope regardless of how far it is from the center. So as you can see now I'm increasing back to 800 to make sure that I descend with the glide slope and then alarm the approach and the glide slope will be captured. So GL, I hope that uh, addresses your uh, concern and if you have any further uh, comments or questions, please uh, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next upload.